I was more of a Bulls fan than, um, like I said, I've never really been huge, huge baseball fan. But uh, when I was a kid, I was a big Tigers fan because I grew up in Detroit. Mm -hmm. So I knew a lot about the 67 Tigers. And well, how, how, you know, it, back in the late 80s, he had Detroit and Chicago. Yes. That was it in the NBA. Yes. Who'd yeah. you root for? I, well, I rooted for Detroit. Really? Uh, yes. And actually, I, went, I was at the game because this guy was a cameraman for CBS. He gave me a pass. And so the job that I had was to sit at that, you know, they had one camera that stays on the 12-minute, the um, you know, um, clock. Right. And, and that's the, that was the, you know, so sometimes they'd cut to the time. So, but usually nobody's on that camera, but they asked me to hold the camera because it would shake. <laughs> and so they gave me a job and they gave me a tag. And so the whole game, I was holding on the camera and cheering for the Pistons. And it was the, and I don't know if anybody remember this game, but it was the game where somebody in the crowd threw a bottle onto the court. Oh, yeah. And, and, and towards Dennis Rodman. Mm -hmm. It was that game. But at the end of the game, Detroit won. And I was very happy. And I was walking out of the thing, you know, um, leaving the uh, stadium. And I had on a sport jacket. And I felt like it was wet, like on my back. And then I was like, man, my hair is wet. <laughs> And then I took off the jacket, and the back of my jacket was covered in spit. Oh, man. People in Chicago had been spitting on me because I was cheering for the Pistons. That's rough. So That's rough. It was I didn't let them, that didn't make me hate the city or become an anti-Bulls fan, but um, I'll never forget that people hated me that much. I mean, that's ridiculous. Spitting, you know what I mean? I swear to God I wasn't there. But it, yeah. That wasn't me. Yeah, you, <laughs> you was very familiar. It wasn't. In 91, did you root for the Bulls? Michael um, finally made it to the yes, championship? I always rooted for the Bulls, except when they played against the Pistons. That was, but yes, and I got to work with Michael Jordan on SNL, which was a dream come true. Right. And he was very cool, and he was very funny. And uh, it was after, I think, they won the first championship. In 91. Think, yeah. Yeah. I think that's when he hosted. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Now, back in 91, being a Pistons fan, when the Pistons walked off the court and they didn't shake their hands. Didn't that mm -hmm. bother you? No. It bothers me to this day. Well, what do you want to do about it? I'm not going to do anything. You, you want to throw down? You want to, I mean, it, 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 hey, I'm here. I ain't running. I'm a lover, not a fighter. All right. And you're the ladies' man. So. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. But no, I, you know, I think they should not have sh shook hands with, it, well, come on. What? Everybody shakes hands. They're it's the bad boys. Show. They're the bad boys. They don't, they're really like, bad. Yeah, they are. And, and then Rodman comes to the Bulls, uh, you know, a few yeah. years later. And you when, a, yeah. a Rodman fan? I am a Rodman fan, yeah. He, I thought he, I was happy that he came here. And John Sally came here, too, and played. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was very happy that those guys came here and got another ring. They came, it was sort of like coming in and taking one. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take one from us, we'll come and take one from you. I'll just uh, take and I'll go on and do my thing. It's not a big deal. And John yeah. Sally goes from the Bulls to the Playboy Mansion. He hung out there for, you know, three or four years. Yeah. You got to love a career like John Sally. Like, he, he goes from Detroit, wins a championship, mm -hmm. to... Play for the enemies in Chicago, wins right. the championship there. Goes to L.A., wins another championship there. Right. And then, like, you know, gets to hang out at Hefner's place. Right, and, hanging know. out at the mansion with Hef. Yeah. And now he's on TV. Yeah. That's a good run for he's, him. He's doing, I like John. He's a really good guy. Yeah. How do we get on this? <laughs> oh, you know what I wanted to say, too? Yeah, yeah. My other sport connection to Chicago is my first son I named after Isaiah Thomas. Really? who was a Chicago high school basketball player. Right, and absolutely. And played for the Pistons. He had a rough run in New York. I, don't, I didn't name him after that, Isaiah. <laughs>